spiders. Things that are venomous. Uh, expired snack food. Uh, things that are going to kill you. A $500 mystery box. Oh, things that only the brave would buy. <laughs> We are opening only the brave. I am Sandy. And I'm John. And this is my Lady Disdain. So, for those of you who do not know what this is, because I know we do have a lot of new to Smart Doll people, occasionally, and there are usually only a few from what I can gather, Danny will put blind boxes, basically mystery dolls, on the store. Yeah, except they're not Necess called mystery dolls or anything like dolls at and all. And technically they're not necessarily dolls. <laughs> right. Um, some people call them pebbles because there's this whole thing about what could be in the boxes. You're paying $500 for an actual pebble. Yep. Um, but it's actually listed as only the brave. And they only come up so every so often, and we were lucky enough to get one. And this is really exciting because, you know, we've been collecting for a little while now, and we have never gotten an only the brave. Yeah, I mean, the excitement that we had opening up the random utter chaos bundles was really huge and doing that with an actual doll is i i just i cannot wait because see the thing is is there's a risk here we have a lot of dolls it could be a doll that we already have i feel like with the number of new dolls that are out and coming out and and all of that stuff and like the new sculpts there's a good chance still, though, that we won't have. Like, I, I feel pretty good about it. But yeah, we could be completely disappointed here. Yeah. For us, the excitement in opening it, and even if it is somebody we already have, we can sell it. Like, Yeah. I mean, so I guess it's not that much of a risk, because Smart Doll, um, for those of you who are new to the, to the line, um, Smart Doll generally does, like, resell very easily at at least what you paid for it, you can usually get back. If they're discontinued, then, then you generally get, you know, a, a chunk more um, for a time. Yeah, as long as they're in good condition and everything, you can usually get what you, what you paid for. For it at least um so there there's that but i don't know i'm just still i'm like really like i'm on pins and needles i want to i want to open this box i'm pretty sure there's a doll in here just judging by the weight and the size of the box i mean that well, that is a doll box can you imagine if danny just like put like doll sized boxes with random stuff in it <laughs> like that would be awful based on the description it's actually a possibility <laughs> but at the same time Considering how infrequently this stuff generally comes up and the fact that the whole Gachapon game that he's doing with the chaos stuff, this is not likely to be anything other than a doll. So let's find out who's in here because this is really exciting. I want to find out if we're adding somebody new to the court. Knowing my luck, it's a Kabuki because like I've <laughs> purchased way too many Kabukis just to do the repaint and everything. We should like cover, make them cover their ears and eyes and stuff and then they don't get to see. Because <laughs> I think they'll be very dismayed to know that there's more than one of them. Well, it's clearly not them. It's uh, a sister, a twin, or oh, wh right. whatever, okay. you know. Okay, okay. All right. The suspense. You know, after we opened uh, Mirai last week, I I'm looking at this going, oh, he changed the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we look at it, let's just get the accessories out of there. Okay. Do we want to just pull her out, or do you want to see the tag? Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, I want to see the tag. She's just like, give her to me. Oh my God. I'm like, well, don't put her off face down. I can't, I'm like shaking. I'm, <laughs> I'm seriously like legit crying. You oh, 
haven't even seen her yet. <laughs> do you do you need a minute? No. <laughs> I've had months. I've had months. Okay, wait. So, how long since we haven't said her name? This is Future. How long have you been waiting for Future? Um, oh gosh, we did the video on her release in like March or April. Something like that. On like who she is and stuff. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to like link to that for everybody. Um, <laughs> she can't even talk straight. I, I gotta see her. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on. Oh my god, I I can't even. I'm I am I'm shaking. <laughs> She's beautiful. Okay, I, I do need a second here <laughs> to pull myself together. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> oh my word. Freckles are life! What is the word again? What's the Japanese word? Sobakasu. Were you gonna do something with that information or? Sobakasu is life. Oh my God, I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> I think we have a new favorite, which I think we knew. Uh, she's got the she's got the pretty like silvery white underwear on too. It's like a silver gray. Yeah, that's what uh, my Kabuki came with. Yeah. The the first one that I bought. Yeah, <laughs> not the. Uh, not not the... not Ray, not everyday Ray. And 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 not the blue one. Yes, not Kabuki. This is my girl, everyone. How many months have I been waiting for her? She's so pretty. I, she's got like just the right amount of freckles. Like it's just enough. We need to put her wig on her. All right, let's open up the box. We did order, you know, at the time, uh, the, the, the purple cargoes, I think. Yeah, out. those should be in here. There's those. Great, so we can put her in those. Yep. And we don't know, Oh, Sandy's looking at it now. She's not even showing you because she's just like freaking out over there. We haven't even seen the wig because we don't know. Well, we you know we we know what it might be because we have like the the most recent uh, product shots or whatever that he had put out. It's my initials. <laughs> the wig is called SR Soft Reverse. So I guess my new nickname is Soft Reverse. <laughs> You broke me. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I was a kid, um, my brother was into photography and SLR was a thing, and that's actually my initials. So um, he used to call me Single Lens Reflex. But now my, uh, my oh. nickname is evidently Soft, Soft Reverse. Reverse. This is very, uh, I mean, we literally were just staring at a bajillion Mirai wigs, but this is very hazel. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. We have a lot of hazel wigs now. Yes, we do. I actually kind of like that. I love having like, you know, I love the idea of alternate face-ups. Um, I like the idea that like a girl, not like dyeing her hair and cutting her hair constantly, but she's redoing it in different styles and braiding and still somewhat around the same idea. So, you know, if t let us know in the comments, is Soft Reverse a new label? Because it's definitely one we haven't seen before. Um, if I remember looking back at the product shots that Danny put out for Future, the vig, the vig, <laughs> the vig, the wig looked very much like Dauntless's wig. That's what I kind of, without necessarily comparing them directly, that's what I th like assumed in my head. Yeah. But this is definitely not. No, it's not. It's, 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 um, Dauntless's original wig is maple. And this is definitely not maple. This is, this is the Mirai color. This is, this looks like the hazel. Yeah. You gonna put it on her? Oh, this this hair begs for the uh, the updo. Yeah, this will actually do an updo really well. I think it's not too long or heavy. Hey, I did it without killing myself. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. It needs to be shifted. It's on her underwear too. She has her name on her underwear. She doesn't just have her name on her underwear. Hold her, please. 
and read her underwear. The future is in your hands. <laughs> Y'all tell me that is not like the most beautiful face you have ever seen. Look at those eyes. She's she has just... gray, I believe. All right, does either of these work? What are you doing over there? Sandy, she has your eyes. They are, they're, they're like my soft blue. Yeah, they are definitely blue. I knew she was my girl. <laughs> <sighs> she came with my initials on her hair. Cause that's how it works. Yeah, that is, that's not gray. That is like a straight up like slate blue, like not quite a denim blue, you know? She's just gorgeous and I am still shaking. Um, we're gonna give Sandy some time alone to get her dressed. Here she is. Yeah, we dressed her, we've had a few cries. Uh... <laughs> I'm legit like, like verklempt, like I, I don't even know what to say. She is amazing. She is even more amazing than I thought she was going to be. She doesn't have a name yet. I know it's gonna be something very classical. I've had a whole bunch of names going through my head for months and and we need to settle on one together. And I think like, we love the look, these, these purple cargos, by the way, just awesome. Um, we wanted to show off the purple cargos. I think her look is generally going to be more old fashioned. Okay. Or at least have more old fashioned influences to it. But- um, well, well, she is your new mini you pretty much. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, she's she's my mini me. I don't have very many freckles, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm in love with her. What do you think? I think she's gorgeous. Of the new girls, she has such a unique, you know, uh, face I think and there's just such a nice softness to her. Yeah, I mean she makes the G7 sculpt look different. Yeah. She's our first semi real that has Oh little teeth, I forgot. Little teeth. Yeah. Little teeth. Can confirm that now. I had a hard time telling if it was teeth or like if her tongue was sticking out a little bit in some of the photos early on. Right. But it is definitely teeth. It's um yeah, so we're just her mouth is just slightly parted, which is very romantic and Poetic. She's beautiful, Danny. I love her. The volume has gone down like 50 decibels in the room. <laughs> we're, we're, we're finally relaxing, we're chill. So we still don't quite know who she is other than future. Right, so, well, let's recap uh, how we got here. Um, when she was first announced, uh, she was just teased. She was just a doll in a photo in one of Danny's stories and everyone went nuts. We did a video, we talked about her, called her new girl, um, and we did a video about her specifically because Danny said if you notice or look closely, you may see that she's an alternative version of one of the other dolls. And we went through a bunch of uh, dolls. We didn't look at everyone, no. but we narrowed down kind of the top answers the, uh, from everybody online. Right. Uh, compared and then plus, the face -ups. plus ours, which was different than everybody else's. Yeah, and and we settled on Monday as being who this girl was. And then since then, new girl became Aoi when she got an official code name. Aoi eventually became Future, and in that time of development, and she's been in development for a long, long while, a couple of key things have happened, right? We've seen a new version of the Monday sculpt right. come out. Which kind of might throw a little wrench into the works of... A, a little? Of, of who we thought she was. Monday's a very unique sculpt. As soon as he put out the new Monday sculpt, it was just subtle tweaks. It was very much staying true to what Danny had originally uh, done. Yeah, he said something. He wanted her to have a resemblance to a traditional porcelain doll. Monday is still around. She's just had a tweak to her other sculpt. So, so to think that she's Monday is kind of, I mean, it's still possible, but it's kind of not. But at this point, I think it's becoming fairly obvious who she is. There are a couple of key clues, and I think one more that we should check out and see and confirm. Okay. So first clue is future. 
Right. Mirai literally means future. So that's a pretty big sign that she could be Mirai. And as soon as Danny called her future, people started going, okay, maybe it's Mirai. Like maybe yeah. this makes sense. I mean, sense. The, the freckles are a little bit off. Mirai has gone through a few different face-ups, but yep. I don't know if she ever had freckles. I don't think so. And I don't think she ever had the teeth, but, and those are the, the little changes that kind of throw you, but that's kind of the point, you know, Chitose multiverse went from a very flat mouth to a just like an agog sort of mouth agape look. Right. You know, that was a big change. Um, and and the, the personality went from reserved to almost like shocked. <laughs> yeah. And then and then of course we've got he's talking about that, he's toying with that new version of semi real genesis with the freckles. Right. So and, I mean, she didn't have freckles. Right. Is that something that he was just doing for fun? Or is that something that he's actually really thinking about? The freckles in the mouth are definitely a sign that if you're trying to be as literal as possible, maybe this isn't Mirai. But you can never find an exact here. So I think it's an interpretation and there's gonna there's some big changes. I mean, this wig, the wig that he chose for her. I, I think it, the timing for us is really weird in that we literally just unboxed last week the original Milk Mirai and like, all of her wigs. It is so very much this wig. I and mean, not like the styling of it, but the the, the, the color. color. The color is is Mirai's hazel. I even got that Dallas Dolco wig that's the same color. Yeah. Or virtually. Um, and we might as well. What do we think? Hers is a little actually. Hers is actually a little bit more orangey, like the Dallas Dolco wig. But um, it's so very, very close. Yeah. Being the original. Milk Mirai, the face up is different. Very different. Like I, I don't really. I would not. I would never think that these two were related based off of this. No, but there has been a change. Do I have a? Yeah, we have the picture from the box. Can we see well enough on here? Um, maybe if we bring technically. It close? I would say, why don't you grab your phone? So we're gonna take a quick peek at the current product photos for Mirai and see how the face-up stacks against this. Okay. Um, if you ignore the freckles. She's um, even got the dark dots in the corner of her mouth. Yeah, like the same, the same exact mouth shape. She just doesn't have the really subtle Really subtle. I mean, maybe maybe we just don't see it, and Mirai has that little bit of teeth in there, too. You just can't, like, on neither of these, right now at this angle, do I see teeth. Right. Um, and Future definitely has teeth. The eyelash on the far corner on the outside does exactly the same thing. It's just like a stylized version of it. Future has a little bit more lashes down on the bottom, but this could be... Semi-real Mirai. I said it when we recorded last time. I think I'm a Mirai convert. <laughs> <laughs> Our predictions <laughs> fail. Yeah, I, we I, did not call this. Um, uh, I mean, we could still be wrong, but I really think all of the clues that Danny has put out there at this point, this is Mirai. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, while we were dressing her, it was like, is it? And, and I think so. Honestly, I feel like if I had just put them side by side in our video, we would have seen this. It's just getting thrown by thing, the bigger changes like the freckles. So yep. we will do better next time. Um, I, I hope Danny does new, like big teases like that. You know, we love having that sort of stuff to talk about. Well, this has got me wondering about the rest of the squad. Right, like who is Onward and who is- Timeless. Uh, timeless. And, and yeah, it's uh, so Onward, Timeless and Imagine. Yeah. The fact that they're a group. Are they the, you know, the Mirai Millennium, you know, girls or squad or whatever? I don't know. Like I had assumed that they were all new, but we don't know that for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if he had said something, if he had teased that, it would be too big of a clue for future. I don't know. But Danny, if there's some glimmer of hope that those girls are actually the Millennium Squad, like, come on, give us a little something. Future's coming out 
we believe is the first to come out, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, she's not yet out, in case that wasn't obvious to anybody. She's not yet available as of filming this. And when she does come out, I'm sure we'll find out, you know, exactly who she is. And and maybe, just maybe, get some some little nuggets about the other yeah, ones. Yeah, I mean, Future has been a feature in his uh, stories for quite some time. Yeah. He's, he's been living with her. And so, like, you know, maybe she'll be out before long. He did say specifically which regular dolls are coming before. Yeah, he said he would release Dimension and Knowledge first. Yeah. And then he was going to decide what order to release those the new four girls in. Right. She may still not come. Maybe she's at the end. But um, I have a feeling that uh, once people watch this video, uh, like, they're going to be demanding this girl be first. She she's... is so gorgeous. I'm just blown away. I can't I can't even. And I think we we need to to be to wrap this up because i need to figure <laughs> out this girl's name so yeah the future is in our hands literally um and it's looking pretty awesome and that's all the puns i'm gonna do if you want to stay up to date on like all the crazy stuff that we're talking about like the new dolls coming out and everything be sure to check out our live stream every tuesday night at 7 p.m eastern for the smart doll news and if you want to take a look at some of the previous episodes take a look at this playlist of all of our smart doll news episodes that'll do it for us bye bye